Well, seven years after Forever Chemicals were detected in private wells in Cumberland County, homeowners are learning more about how prevalent they continue to be in the community. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb breaks down the very latest test results. Michael Waters' life changed in 2017. It's very personal for me. After finding out about PFAS contamination in his well. I actually have very high PFAS levels, PFOS very specific, and I have a, a blood disease. He lives about a mile away from the Chemours plant in Bladen County. The state ordered the company to take action to address PFAS contamination. Most people would say, I'm upstream. I'm not right by the river. but. The way the wind goes. Waters is one of just over a thousand people participating in ongoing research on the effects of forever chemicals across the state. Tuesday, researchers from NC State shared the results of their second round of blood testing. Overall, the levels of PFAS in people's blood are coming down. NC State researcher Jane Hoppin says it's a positive sign, but levels of certain PFAS near Fayetteville, including PFOS, are higher than the national average, represented on this graph by a purple triangle. People refer to these as forever chemicals, but it's important to know that they're not going to be forever in our bodies if we can stop exposure to these chemicals. She credits ongoing efforts to protect drinking water in the area. When we stop drinking chem these chemicals in our water, the levels are coming down 20% in two years. While PFAS levels in participants are down overall, the research found an increase in some people over the last two years. The study is planning on resampling participants at some point in November. In Grays Creek, Harrison Grubb, CBS 17 News.